In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Happy 40th day of Easter, everyone, the ascension of our Lord. Welcome, and to our viewers as well watching on video stream. Let us acknowledge now our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You lift us up to hope in you, Lord, have mercy. You show us the way to the Father, Christ, have mercy. You gather into one family all your scattered children, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose Son ascended today to the heavens as the apostles looked on, grant, we pray, that in accordance with his promise, we may be worthy for him to live with us always on earth, and we with him in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were still looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. Alleluia, Alleluia. Heart is thrown to shout 
shouts of joy. Alleluia, alleluia. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. Alleluia, alleluia. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call that you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. One body and one spirit, as you were once also called to the one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is over all, and through all, and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Cleanse my heart and my lips, Almighty God, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, through the words of the Gospel. May our sins be wiped away. During my time in initial formation for the priesthood, I was assigned to St. Mary's Seminary in Baltimore, Maryland. There was a priest there who served as my spiritual director for about two years. He was a rather unique fellow because 
He had a very spiritual sense about him, even as he walked among us on earth, like you and I do. But it seemed like he had an eye and a gift of the Spirit. And I will share with you this example. One day I saw him looking at the sky and walking backwards, trying to follow a bird that he had seen in the sky. And I thought, he will surely fall over. But he did not, and he insisted for more than 10 seconds, no, he's got to continue following this bird as it flew around. And uh, Father was a unique fellow, and he never did fall over going backwards. That alone is a gift of the Holy Spirit, of course. But he followed this bird, and I thought, this man has a great gift, a sense of that which is beyond, not just the realm of earth, but a man in touch with the Holy Spirit who understands what the meaning of the cross was and who can put it into effect in his own life, in his own strange way, and we're all different characters in our own sense, in our own ways, but he was certainly one of them. I share that with you because the purpose of the 40th day of Easter, the perfection that Jesus has won for us, is to orient the mind and the heart to things that are above. Now, you and I may not be able to walk backwards. And if we attempted that, we might all fall over here, but not Father in Baltimore. And that's okay. We don't need to be walking backwards to watch God's creatures in the sky, but to appreciate the hand of God at work from the beginning in all creation. And if the 40th day of Easter is a signal of perfection in the risen Jesus. This day is situated within the season of joy in order that we may have a real vision of life to go and baptize, to preach, to live the gospel, to follow the commandments, and to not be afraid of following the commandments. To not be afraid to walk backwards in the world if everyone is going in one direction, one way. Sometimes in life, the Christian faith requires us to leave the pack, to leave the herd, in order that we may follow in Jesus' way. Just because something is popular does not make it the way of Christ. But to be a follower of Jesus today, to be a true disciple is a courageous move and to have a vision different than the rest of the world or the pack as it were. To know that when Jesus lived among us before his death, he participated in the ministry of the Father by healing, by preaching, by extending his hand. After his resurrection, after he defeated death, Jesus' presence among us was so powerful in a new way and in a profound way. And on the 40th day of Easter, after our Lord told the apostles how they were to preach and baptize all the nations, our Lord ascended into heaven where he is with the Father. And it is our hope that in the vision of walking as his people, that we too can be with Christ the Lord on all the days of our life journey ahead, that where we are oriented to is a vision of the new heaven, the heavenly Jerusalem that God has ordained. And now the visible presence of our Lord Jesus is the sacraments. After all, Jesus has ascended to the Father, to heaven. 
where he will reign until he comes again to judge the living and the dead, as we know from our homily, as we know from our Nicene Creed, as we know from all of our prayer experiences together, to judge the living and the dead. And now Jesus is with us sacramentally, in great signs and in wonders. When you gaze at a cross, there is one shape in vertical and the other horizontal. It is an image, therefore, of how we are to see life, not just in communion with Jesus who has ascended to the Father, but also in communion with one another. Being in communion with one another, the one way of the cross, is to be in communion with Jesus, sometimes looking up, and not falling. The perfect communion with Father, Son, and Spirit is to be one with Him in heaven and also on earth with His people, joined to Jesus by baptism, dying and rising with Him. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. The signs of Jesus' presence are still with us, years and years after the ascension of our Lord into heaven. And when he will return, who knows? But until that day, we must look upward and outward to see how we live the life of faith. And with eyes looking to heaven, with eyes of faith that allow us to be his holy people, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. For the church that empowered by the Holy Spirit, we may faithfully give witness to the gospel and continue Christ's mission of bringing hope and healing to all, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle with doubts, that the Spirit of Christ will free their minds and bring understanding to their hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all communities overwhelmed by the pandemic, that, guy, that God will guide the leaders of India and Brazil as they strive to control the virus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who work to bring food to our tables, that God will bless them with seasonable weather and a bountiful harvest, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have fallen asleep in the Lord, that they may join Christ Jesus in heaven, who has ascended to his throne of majesty, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer.
and for all the intentions of our hearts that we bring to the altar of God tonight. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, and we ask all of these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sins. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, whose only begotten Son, our High Priest, is seated, ever living at your right hand to intercede for us, grant that we may approach with confidence the throne of grace and there obtain your mercy. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples, and was taken up into heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Edward Scharfenberger, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which your only begotten Son, our Lord, 
was placed at the right hand of your glory in our weak human nature, which he had united to himself, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers we may be defended in all things by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service and that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we may be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. Proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as you once were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith and who rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship, with your apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints, 
Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, everyone. of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ, the 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 body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Past our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity.
Let us pray. May the gifts we have received from your altar, Lord, kindle in our hearts a longing for the heavenly homeland and cause us to press forward, following in the Savior's footsteps, to the place where, for our sake, he entered before us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. It has been a joy and blessing to celebrate this Mass with our dear friends from Our Lady of Mount Carmel, St. Adalbert, and St. Paul the Apostle parishes, our one combined Mass for the Solemnity of the Ascension of our Lord. Be well, and we'll see each other very soon. Take care. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Take care, everyone. Have a good night. Bye-bye now. Good night.